what up guys, TJ here. One of the most fun things you can do on a snowboard as you're getting around is butters or flatland snowboard tricks. So today I'm gonna to talk about my top five snowboard picks for doing butters. The first board I wanna talk about is gonna be the Battalion Fun Kink. So this is a full regular camber snowboard, but it does have a nice soft flex that I'd rate right around a three out of 10. And it's also gonna have Battalion's triple base technology, which is gonna help out quite a bit with butter tricks. So that's gonna be an uplifted side base on the nose and tail. A simple way of thinking about it is kind of like a spooned out nose and tail, but it actually runs for a significant portion of the snowboard. This is gonna make the board really, really catch free. So that's gonna allow you to lean into those butters, getting a really nice tall press and not have to worry about catching whatsoever. It's also gonna have Battalion's all mountain shape. So a little bit longer nose than tail by about one centimeter, making this board just a little bit more versatile, but still being a great choice for butters. If you're looking for a similar women specific board, I would point you towards the feel better. The second board I wanna bring up is gonna be the Capita Horror Scope. This is gonna be the softest board out of the bunch and I'd rate the flex right around a two out of 10. This board has a flat camber profile with a little bit of rocker in the tips. So it's gonna have a really nice stable platform for you to balance on as you're trying these tricks and the rocker in the tips is gonna help make it a little bit more catch free for you. This is gonna be a bit more of a jib focused snowboard, so it's gonna be really easy to lock into presses. It's also gonna be nice and maneuverable, making it ideal for doing butter tricks. If you're looking for a similar women's board, I would point you towards the Capita Space Metal Fantasy. The third snowboard is gonna be the Arbor Westmark Rocker. This is gonna be more of a mid-range snowboard from Arbor. It's got a full rocker profile from tip to tail, so the contact points are gonna be lifted, making it a little bit looser and a little bit more catch-free. It's also gonna be more conducive to pressing since it's already bent in that rocker shape. And the flex is right around a four out of 10 on this guy. So combine that with that rocker profile, this board is gonna be nice and loose, easy to press, and perfect for butters. If you're looking for a women's equivalent, I'd point you towards the Arbor Cadence. The fourth snowboard is gonna be the Solomon Villain. This is gonna be a camber dominant snowboard. It's actually flat between the feet with some heavy camber underfoot, giving it that camber dominant shape with a little bit of rocker in the nose and tail. Flex wise, I'd rate this guy right around a three out of 10. And overall, this board is just gonna be a ton of fun. It's a little bit more freestyle leaning, but great for presses, great for butters, a lot of fun in the park and still fun for carving and exploring outside of the terrain park. If you're looking for a women's equivalent, I'd have you check out the Solomon Oh Yeah. The fifth snowboard I want to bring up was actually my personal board last season, the GNU Headspace. This is going to be a camber dominant snowboard. It has their C3 camber profile. So while from tip to tail, it is camber dominant, there's still a little bit of rocker between the feet, helping make it a little bit looser and more catch free on rails. You're also gonna get some premium features from GNU, like magna traction, giving you extra grip on ice and an asymmetrical side cut. The flex is right around a four out of 10 on this guy, so a little bit stiffer than some of these other snowboards, but it's still a ton of fun for butter tricks. So I really hope you guys check this board out. It's a really fun and versatile snowboard and definitely a great candidate for butter tricks. If you guys are looking for a women's equivalent, I'd have you check out the GNU Velvet Nuru. The Nuru is actually gonna be a rocker dominant snowboard, but as far as a similar price point and similar features, the Velvet Nuru is gonna be what you want. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna learn more about these snowboards, we're gonna have every single one of them linked down in the description below. I'll also have a detailed written review available for you guys. And if you got any questions for me, I'd be stoked to hear about it down in the comments below. You can hit me up on social media at Board Archive. Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate you, and I'll see you next time.